How to know if white cock or black cock is right for you. Let's talk about it. It's important to know that both will get the job done, but depending on your needs and what you need to fill, one is definitely better than the other. In my case, I will be choosing the black cock for the front. If you are working with a large gap or a hole, you will see that this is going to work beautifully. Now for the back door, my preference is a white cock. As you can see here, the slit that I need to fill is much smaller. Now I know some of you may be thinking it's a little excessive to have two different cocks to get the job done, but I am all about the max efficiency in the shortest amount of time. It's also important to have the right size tip for the hole that you need to fill. Even if your cock is well used and pretty beat up like this one, don't worry, it will still work. Now the black cock is fairly new to me, but I did decide to go with a larger tip due to the size of the hole that I am working with today. You're going to want to hold it firmly and apply light pressure to the tip. And then gently rub it into the crease or hole that you are wanting to fill. It can be a little nerve-wracking at first, but don't be afraid to really get in there. Go ahead and really work it into the area, as any excess mess can be cleaned up at a later time. Once you have filled the hole, you're going to want to take your finger and gently rub along everywhere you have put the cock. I advise that you use a glove for protection. Fortunately, I didn't have one handy and I was eager to get the job done, so I went ahead and went without. Not afraid, I think this gives a very smooth finish. Pro tip, you're always going to want to keep a rag around if you're not using a glove, just to clean the excess mess off of your hands. Sometimes it gets a little sticky when it gets hard. Now that it is hard, I am very satisfied with the result.